Hello, my name is Kirill and I like LEGO Technic. On my table you can see new set 42098. It is car transporter. It reminds me my favorite LEGO set from my childhood car transporter 6335. This is really awesome huge truck. It's very impressive toy. This set contains 2.5 thousand pieces. The box was very heavy, almost 4 kilograms. And on the box we can see that the complete truck is 86 centimeters long. It's really a very big toy. But this set has not only the truck, also we can see a sport car. Uh, it is very similar to 42093 set, Chevrolet Corvette. I suppose the front part of new car is even better than in Chevrolet Corvette. At the same time, the rear part is deadly simple, I don't like it. And yes, 42093 car fits this truck too, and I suppose we'll get more cars in such scale in the future. The truck has many cool details like lights, mirrors, opening doors. Uh, instruction book is really thick, it has more than 500 pages. Uh, the set also has a B model, it is a truck with show cars. To my mind it looks not too interesting, I will not assemble it. The assembling process is divided to three stages. After the first stage we get the car, after the second one we get the truck and the last stage is the trailer. So let's take a look to the functions of the set. The sport car has two functions. It has rear wheel drive with V8 piston engine under the hood and with differential gear. And the second function is steering. The steering angle is too small to my mind. You can see that it's really small. I'm not sure that it will be convenient to play with this car due to this small steering angle. It would be cool to improve it. There is no blue gear in steering mechanism like in 42093 set. And this set steering mechanism uses CV joint and cardan. The car has very pleasant front part, nice details in design. Uh, at the same time, as I said before, I don't like the rear part. It looks too simple to my mind. The car has narrow tires, like the Chevrolet Corvette, and it's cool. I like these wheels. They have nice proportions to my mind. There are no doors here, so the car isn't bad, but of course it can be improved. And now it's time for the truck. The truck has nice details in front part. We can open the doors. Uh, it has very simple transmission, 2x6. You can see differential gear. And under the cabin we can find V6 piston engine. It is similar to the engine of the sport car, but the sport car has V8. Here we can see V6. Also the truck has two handles for steering. One handle on the top. And we have one more handle. If we can't use top handle, we can use the handle on the side of the truck. And here we have one more handle. It elevates the ramp. It is a rather fast process and I like it. It would be much slower with linear actuator. I don't like to operate large linear actuator manually. So this is a very convenient handle. Uh, as you can see, the truck can't be loaded without the trailer. I'll demonstrate it a bit later. The truck has one more feature. 
It is car locking mechanism. It uses rubbers. So how it works? Now the car is fixed, but we can use the lever to release it. And now let's take a look to the trailer. The trailer has very simple coupling mechanism. Also it has two ramps, the front ramp and my favorite feature, the rear ramp. I really like how it folds and deploys. And here it fits the top level and gives additional support for the car. And the last handle elevates the top level like in the main truck. So now we can try to load the car. You can see that it has too low clearance for this truck. So now it is locked and we can release it. It is cool slope and we can play with it. Now you can see how huge is this model. I let the truck. Now I activate the ramp and and I can load the car. So this is it. Now I can elevate it. So the truck is ready for transport. I'll fold the rear ramp. On the bottom level car are fixed by system tiles. In this scale this truck can transport five cars, three on the top level, and two in the bottom. So the set has no complex mechanisms, but it is very cool toy. I'd like to tell a few words about the pieces. Uh, first of all, this set contains three pieces in new color. Matte guards in red and dark azure and four red panels. This is huge set and it can be useful for you if you have not too many LEGO Technic pieces. In the same time, if you have big collections, this set probably will be not interesting for you. The set has some parts in dark azure, a few red panels. Also, I found some interesting parts for myself. So, first of all, this huge truck is an awesome toy for children. And I suppose it will be not interesting for adult advanced and leg technic builders. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye!